Hello Internet, welcome to another microprocessor tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn memory segmentation in 8086. We know that 8086, by virtue of its 20 address lines, can interface a 1M memory now if we draw a diagram depicting 80 86 with 20 address lines it can be connected to a memory that has the first address equal to 5 times 0 H to last address of 5 times F H that amounts to 1 M locations but the fact of the matter is 8086 does not at one point in time can access all the 1M locations of the memory which is connected to it. There is a concept of memory segmentation in 8086 which says that there are four segments four segments refer to four different areas of the memory which is connected to 8086 that perform different functions there are four segments known as data segment code segment stack segment and extra segment now the names are suggestive enough to tell us what kind of functions do these segments perform data segment is going to take care of all the data related operations code segment will hold the programs stack segment will perform the stack related operations and extra segment is another fourth kind of a segment to perform string related operations so at any point in time all these four segments are active in the memory and the next point which is very very important is that the size of each segment is sixty four K so if we assign sixty four K to each of these segments we can say that at any point in time max direct interface sin is happening with 256k of memory now how do we actually show this uh, let me redraw this memory in context with these segments now for example the, if we were to divide this memory into four different segments of 64k we could possibly do this 
by making one segment here which starts from 0 0 0 0 0 edge and this segment being a 64k segment it'll end up at 0 double F double F H now this segment could be any segment let me just name it as data segment and similarly just above 0 double 1 uh, 0 double F double F H another segment could start but it is not necessary that these segments are continuous so I can I could start my second segment somewhere here but the size of the segment would remain 64k and I could assign this segment to be a code segment this could this could well have been started from 1 2 3 4 0 H and if you add FFFFH you'll get the uh, final or the last address of this code segment and similarly a fourth area of 64k could be assigned as tag segment and finally the last area of 64k could be assigned as extra segment now another point which is worth noting is that uh, these segments can be completely isolated from each other they could be partially overlapping and they could even be completely overlapped now what does it mean let me just draw one more memory space here for example we have this memory 1m starting from 5 times 0h to 5 times fh we could have a case where all the segments they are starting from one address let us say the beginning of the address space and are going up to so all these segments so this constitutes data segment stack segment extra segment and code segment all of these are assigned this segment space so this is a case of completely overlapped segmentation and this particular case where all the segments are isolated from each other is an example of the first type of categorization similarly we could have partially overlapping for example if the starting address of a segment falls in between the existing segment then it could be partially overlapped but one big question is who decides the starting address of a segment where where do we actually set segments for example I mentioned here that my data segment is starting from double zero double zero zero edge my code segment is starting from one two three four zero edge my stack segment is starting from let us say a b c d zero edge and my extra segment is starting from some location c c c c zero edge so what what is that thing that decides where the segment should start from 
and obviously the last address of the segment can easily be calculated by adding FFFF H into it because each segment is of 64k so once we know the starting address of the segment the last address can automatically be found out now the answer to that question is in in the architecture of 8086 you'll find four special function registers by the name of DS, ES, SS and CS. Now these special function registers are known as segment registers. And these are 16 bit registers. Now, whatever value we put in these registers, they will help us form the starting address of a segment. For example, if I put a value, I put a value 1, 2, 2, 2, H, which is a 16 bit value into ds register and i put some arbitrary value a b c d h and i put stack segment as this and my code segment is let us say 89 a b h so any random values now what will happen is they will help us form the starting address in the memory so if this is 8086 and I draw a memory space again what will happen is we'll append a zero with all these addresses for example if stack segment is 0 0 0 0 H we'll put a zero at the least, least significant 4 bytes uh, bit and then my starting address for stack segment I put a 0 here and I put 0 from my side now what happens is 8086 appends this 0 automatically to the 16 bit data in the segment registers to form a 20 bit starting address for a segment. So now you know that your extra segment is going to start from A, B, C, D, 0, H. Your stack segment is starting from here, and your data segment is starting from 1, 2, 2, 2, 0, H, and your code segment is starting from 89AB0H so if, if you had noticed in this explanation also I, I had kept all the addresses all the starting addresses of the segments in such a way that the least significant 4 bits were 0 So that is the reason why I kept that way because the starting address of any segment will be formed by appending a zero next to uh, the data which is present in the segment registers. Now of course one big challenge is to find out the last address and if we do not find out the last address we cannot really comment if these segments are completely isolated, if these segments uh, are partially overlapping or we cannot really predict the status of these segments. And in order to utilize maximum of our memory, uh, we need to keep the segments completely isolated from each other that way out of 1M 
space we shall be able to utilize 256 in one go however you can change the values inside the segment registers to shift the segments um, from one place to the other now the starting address is simple to find and the final address of the segments is found final address of the segments will be D the starting address plus F F F F so that will give me the final address in hexadecimal extra segment gives me A B C D 0 H plus F F F F H that will give me the final address now if you have trouble adding FFFF into a hexadecimal number then you could take help of the calculator 991ES uh, I've done a comprehensive tutorial on how to uh, fiddle around with the number systems in the calculator so that should be easy enough so the last address is found out by adding 64k into the final address and 64k is FFFFH and uh, that is how the segments are assigned in AD86 uh, not all the memory is accessible in one go to access the memory we need to assign segments and then uh, we shall work on it and that's about it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching this tutorial you have a good day and a good life bye